Hi, I'm Farmer George Whipple. And today, we're looking at one of the hardest working animals in history, the Shire Horse. Shires are a breed of draft horse known for plowing and farm labor. They're also called workhorses or heavy horses. And you can see why. These guys are huge. The average Shire horse stands about six feet tall and weighs almost a ton. With all that size, the Shire became England's go-to horse for heavy lifting. They carried knights in full armor into battle during medieval times and pulled heavy artillery during the First and Second World Wars. They were also used for plowing fields, logging and forestry, pulling carriages, and most importantly, these magnificent, majestic steeds pulled brewery wagons, delivering ale to thirsty customers. At the height of their popularity, there were a million Shire horses worldwide. Unfortunately, their popularity didn't last. They began to fall out of favor as advancements in mechanization led to a decline in their usefulness. But it's not all bad news. Breeders around the world have shown a renewed interest in the horse. And breed societies have opened up in several countries with the intent of saving this deserving breed and preserving its incredible history. I visited De La Kohler at the Kohler Farm to find out more. With me is De La Kohler at the Kohler Farm and you raise Shire horses. I do. Why are you raising them? With every endangered species, you have to ask yourself, why are they important? And the reason why I believe that the Shire is important is because they have such a docile personality that any family member can handle them at any time, in any situation. And you never have to worry about your safety. So they've got great personality. Amazing personality. They're careful horses. They're very careful and they're so respectful. We do this because we really truly believe in what we do and we're trying to save the breed because we believe in the breed. It's a labor of love. It's not a money-making adventure. So when I look at the uh, horses, especially the feathering, I immediately think of the Budweiser, Clydesdales. Definitely. That, you know, pull down the thing. Are they related to the Clydesdales? There actually is some lineage there. Uh, the Clydesdales are from Scotland, where the Shire is from England. In the 1950s, our numbers dropped down to about 25. The Shires just fell out of favor and became more of a liability than they were an asset, so they were being slaughtered. We dropped down in such bad numbers that the bottlenecking of the DNA became so bad that we actually had to use some Clydesdale DNA in order to preserve the breed. Come here, sweetie. Come on, Pucket. Oh, mama, it's hot. There's no trotting today. Now, are these boys, girls, what's that coming That is my up? stallion. Okay. That is Moonlight Solstice. Ungelded, that's what you use that to breed the That is my stallion. He is a breeding stallion and he is sweet as apple pie. Come on, he's Iris. Got the, he's got the Chewbacca haircut. Isn't he great? Hi, sweetie. Here, mamas. Here, mamas. What are, you, um, what are you giving these guys? Just their little little um, things of uh, alfalfa. Here. Pretty good. Here, mamas. <coughs> oh! oh! Big call. Oh! And you can see why I have no problem with kids being around them. And no, they're sweet. What else? Can you ride these horses? Yeah, they're great to ride. Well, let's give that a shot. So, which horse are you going to pick out for riding and why? George, I'm going to have you ride Miss Daisy because she's 15 years old and she's an adult shire. Shires do grow till they're six years old. Little Miss Fiona here, she actually just turned a year old. So, if I put George on her, the weight would actually put too much stress on her joints. And if I did that, I could actually put make her lame for the rest of her life. And since Shires do grow till they're six years old, um, there's really no rush. How the hell am I gonna get up there? I'm gonna go you remember that leg catapulting. Up the... I'm gonna go catapulting over the horse. Do you need to stretch out? Well, I don't know. A little yoga, a little down dog. <laughs> <laughs> Daisy stands. Well, she can't run very far, right? Oh! <laughs> Jeez Louise! You're a good mare. I hope you enjoyed learning about the Shire Horse as much as I have. If you want to find out even more, and about ways that you can help save this unique breed, 
visit thelivestockconservancy.org or shirehorse.org. I'm Farmer George Whipple. Safe at last. And I'll see you next time.